Scene script. Did you know, the Chavda dynasty hailing from the Gurjar Partihar, the Chavda was a dynasty that ruled over what is now Gujarat in India since BC, 690, 942. They were not Rajput, but identified themselves as Gurjar, a fascinating start to an intriguing lineage. As the pages of history unfurl, were transported back to the origins of the Chavda dynasty. Rooted in the Gurjar Partihar, the Chavdas were an influential ruling clan in the Indian subcontinent. But here's where a common misconception arises. Many assume the Chavdas were Rajput, but the truth is they never claimed this lineage. Instead, they identified themselves as Gurjar Partihars. This distinction is crucial to understanding the unique identity of the Chavdas. Their Gurjar Partihar roots shaped their governance, culture and legacy, setting them apart from the Rajputs. Historical records and inscriptions indicate that the Chavda rulers always referred to themselves as Gujar, not Rajput. This is a fact that has often been obscured by time and misinterpretation. Now let's delve into the annals of history to meet the founder of the Chavda dynasty. His name was Vanraj Chavda, a charismatic leader who laid the foundation of this dynasty. Vanraj, a Gurjar Partihar, was not just a great warrior but also a visionary ruler. His reign marked the beginning of the Chavda era, a period that would see the rise of the Gurjar Partihar to new heights of power and prominence. Vanraj was succeeded by a line of Chavda kings, each of who carried forward the Gujar Partihar banner. They were known for their administrative acumen, military prowess, and cultural patronage, all of which were deeply influenced by their Gurjar Partihar background. And thus, began the reign of the Chavda dynasty, firmly anchored in their Gujar Partihar identity. Their story is a testament to the diverse fabric of our history, reminding us of the rich tapestry of cultures and identities that have shaped the course of human civilization. As we journey through the reign of the Chavda kings in the upcoming scenes let's keep their Gurjar Partihar roots in mind, for it is this unique identity that set them apart and defined their rule. From Vanraj Chavda, the seed of the dynasty, grew a lineage of kings who left indelible marks on history. The Chavda dynasty, a lineage deeply rooted in the Gurjar Partihar community, was a beacon of power and prosperity in its heyday. Following in the footsteps of the founder Vanraj Chavda was his son, Yograj. Yograj, whose reign was characterized by peace and prosperity, was a visionary. He focused on infrastructure, building roads and fortresses and fortifying the kingdom's defenses. His rule was a time of great cultural awakening with advancements in literature and the arts. Next in line was Kashemraj, a king known for his wisdom and diplomatic acumen. His reign saw the establishment of diplomatic ties with neighboring kingdoms, fostering a sense of unity and cooperation. He was a patron of education, and under his rule, the kingdom became a hub of knowledge and learning. The reign of Buyad Chavda, however, was a stark contrast to his predecessors. Buyad was a warrior king, whose rule was marked by numerous military campaigns. His reign was a time of expansion, with the kingdom's borders extending far and wide. Each king brought their distinctive style of governance and left their unique imprints on the kingdom. They were all united though in their commitment to the welfare of their people, and their determination to uphold the honor of the Gurjar Partihar community. Through their policies and actions, these kings ensured that their kingdom remained a beacon of power and prosperity. They nurtured the arts, promoted learning, and ensured peace and stability, contributing to the cultural and social fabric of the kingdom. These kings, each in their unique way, shaped the destiny of their kingdom and their people. They were not just rulers but also visionaries, strategists and patrons of the arts and learning. Their reigns marked significant chapters in the history of the Chavda dynasty. Each king in their unique way, shaped the course of the Chavda dynasty, creating a rich tapestry of history. A history that was woven with the threads of vision, valor, wisdom, and cultural awakening. A history that still resonates in the annals of the Gurjar Partihar community. The Chavda dynasty was not just about individual kings but a collective zenith of power and influence. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we find the Chavda dynasty reaching its pinnacle. The zenith of their reign was not merely marked by the territorial expanse they ruled, but also by the profound influence they wielded over the region. Their dominion stretched far and wide, encompassing vast territories that thrived under their governance. The Chavdas were astute rulers, their administrative acumen reflected in the systematic and efficient management of their lands. 
a well-structured bureaucracy was the backbone of their governance, ensuring the smooth functioning of their expansive territories. But it wasn't just their administrative prowess that was commendable. The Chavda dynasty was also known for its formidable military might. Their armies were not just large in number, but also skilled in warfare. Their military strength was a significant factor in their ability to maintain control over their territories, ward off invasions, and even expand their dominion. It was not brute force alone that the Chavdas relied on, however. They were also shrewd diplomats, forging strong alliances with neighboring kingdoms. These alliances further bolstered the Chavdas' position, providing them with additional military support when needed, and fostering economic and cultural exchanges that enriched their kingdom. The Chavda dynasty, under the banner of the Gurjar Partihars, stood as a beacon of power and influence in the region. Their rule was not characterized by tyranny or oppression, but by a balanced blend of administrative efficiency, military might, and diplomatic finesse. The Chavdas were not just rulers, they were leaders who guided their people towards prosperity and development. They were the embodiment of Gurjar Partihar's strength, a strength that was not just about physical might, but also about resilience, wisdom, and adaptability. The Chavda dynasty at its height was a testament to Gurjar Partihar's strength and resilience. They were a symbol of Gurjar Partihar's indomitable spirit, a spirit that continues to resonate in the annals of history, reminding us of a time when the Gurjar Partihars ruled with might and wisdom. Every empire has its sunset, and the Chavda dynasty was no exception. As we've journeyed through the rise and pinnacle of the Chavda's power we now find ourselves at the precipice of their decline. This decline was not sudden, but a slow process, marred by internal strife, external invasions, and fading influence. The Chavda dynasty, rooted firmly in the Gurjar Partihar lineage, began to lose its sheen in the wake of growing power struggles among the royal kin. Ambitions flared, alliances shifted, and the once unified front of the Chavda rulers started to crumble. In this tumultuous period, the dynasty's unity, once its strength, now became its Achilles' heel. In addition to internal discord, the Chavda dynasty also faced threats from formidable external forces. Invading armies began to encroach upon their territories, exploiting the weakened state of the empire. The Chavda kings, despite their valiant efforts, couldn't repel these invasions indefinitely. The last of the Chavda rulers, in a desperate bid to retain power, fought tooth and nail against these odds. But the combined weight of internal dissension and external aggression was too great. The once mighty Chavda dynasty, a beacon of Gurjar Partihar power, began to fade into the annals of history. The final blow came when the last Chavda ruler, in a valiant yet futile last stand, fell in battle. With his demise, the dynasty's reign came to an end. The Gurjar Partihar, who had proudly called themselves Gujar and not Rajput, now found their dynasty eclipsed. The fall of the Chavda dynasty marked the end of an era, but their legacy lived on. Even as the sun set on their reign the Chavda dynasty left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Their tale, a saga of power, glory and decline continues to be a testament to the transient nature of human empires. But that's a story for another time. While the Chavda dynasty may have fallen their story continues to echo through the annals of history. The Chavda dynasty, a lineage of Gurjar Partihar origin, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of time. Their legacy, a rich and vibrant tapestry woven with threads of cultural, architectural and societal contributions, continues to inspire and intrigue us today. The Chavda dynasty was not just a line of rulers, they were torchbearers of a vibrant culture, a culture that was deeply rooted in the Gurjar Partihar identity. Their reign was characterized by a harmonious blend of tradition and innovation, reflecting the dynamism of the Gurjar Partihar people. The Chavdas championed arts, literature and architecture, fostering a cultural renaissance that left an enduring imprint on the region. Their architectural legacy in particular stands as a testament to their vision and grandeur. The Chavda rulers commissioned majestic temples, forts and palaces, many of which still stand tall, narrating tales of a bygone era. These architectural marvels were not merely structures of stone and brick, but embodiments of the Gurjar Partihar ethos, a testament to the Chavda's deep reverence for their cultural heritage. The societal contributions of the Chavda dynasty too, are noteworthy. They championed social justice, encouraged education, and promoted the welfare of their subjects. Their rule was marked by a profound sense of duty and a commitment to the common good, values that were deeply ingrained in the Gurjar Partihar ethos. The Chavda's Gurjar Partihar identity played a pivotal role in shaping their legacy. 
they proudly identified as Gurjar Partihars, defying any attempts to mislabel them as Rajputs. This clear assertion of their identity has shaped our understanding and perceptions of the Chavda dynasty. It reminds us that the Chavdas were not just rulers but custodians of a rich and vibrant Gurjar Partihar heritage. The Chavda dynasty, a powerful chapter in Gurjar Partihar's history, continues to captivate us reminding us of a time when they ruled with might and pride. Their legacy is not just a tale of power and supremacy, but a testament to their cultural vitality, architectural genius and societal contributions. It is a story that continues to resonate, reminding us of the indomitable spirit of the Gurjar Partihar people.